what is with the OBS going in and out? Yeah, I it I gotta get it. I think it's the internet for sure. Cause I think I'm streaming at. It says the force the fourth the source is 480p. So I guess it's reading it as 480 coming out of here. Output. Can you do the bit right down to maybe if I did it down to 200? Would that help? Let's try that. Audio. Mm, I think it should be good. Video. So it's uh, it's scaling it down to 480 from the 1080 image. Mm. Well, yeah, play it. Yeah, so it definitely seems to be. Ah, what is this? Now it's saying, is it saying excellent now? I want to get like a stable I'm gonna make sure I have a stable feed before I start ranting here a little bit. There's quite a bit of joy on here too. Cause I wonder if me having the other web pages open is. I think 480p should be, I guess, an okay stream for me. Not really putting any extra money into it right now. I'm just wondering if this is going to be loud enough. Maybe if I... I think we're stable now with the, the bitrate change that I did. Yeah, here we go. So you might have to turn the volume up a little bit because I had to, or I had the mic close to the computer and the computer's old and it's going. That, uh, that, uh, <clears throat> uh, I'm tired. So basically I'm using like an, uh, an older laptop that's like six years old. And it seems to be working, but the... Uh, I think it's the Canon Connect uh, Live View thing is like using a lot of the CPU. And of course, I got a couple things using the. Uh... You know what I need? I need a single. Hmm. Do I have? I mean, I don't want to like continuously be checking on it, but I'm just gonna put like a single earbud thing in just to make sure it is playing. But all right, so I think we should be good. Hopefully, it'll hold up. So I wanted to get on here. I was trying to get on here last night. I ended up just making a uh, video. And putting it on YouTube, just like recording it on the camera. But I was kind of wanting to get it on here 
and I was wanting to talk about certain, uh, like if you're doing like certain music production, music, if you're doing certain video production, you know, you're going to put, uh, especially having like any B-roll or any, if you have any B-roll and you got time lapse or even like a lot of people like when they're talking, they'll put music like very low on there. So what I basically have been using is, let's go to the web page thing here. Let me, uh, let me put this, come on now. Uh, let me put it like right here. I don't know. Let me, I guess I could do, there we go. Uh, let me, I move this here. Let's make it a little bit smaller, I guess. There we go, that should be good. So, what I... So what I have been using is the Incompetech. Uh, I believe the guy's name is Kevin Gliot. It has like all these has like all this music here that you can use and as long as you like cite his source like if I go into you like go into the music then you can play it which you can't hear because I got it through the headphones but you can play it then you like download the mp3 obviously you listen to it then he has like a lot of them that are uh like kind of videos on YouTube and you go through then basically what he's saying is you have to like credit take this and just put it if you're using it like in a YouTube or Instagram or Facebook whatever like when you have the music like in your description just uh, credit that highlighted portion here and you'll be good but my thing is I was like because I keep seeing ads for the uh, the art list I've seen like uh, Ryan Connolly talk about it, Film Riot, and then there's other people too. And this is, because this, this is free, as long as you cite it, you like it's all under the, uh, here we go, let's go. You can put it on your YouTube videos, you can monetize the videos, you just got to credit it. Streaming sites, you just got to credit him. Live Productions, just credit him. If you want to use it in a store, you have to purchase the license, which I'm obviously not doing that. Uh, on hold music, purchase license. I believe both of these were like 95 bucks for like a 10 year license or something like that. Then something else is... The only thing... Like it's pretty much all free unless you do the own hold music or the in-store thing but if you're doing like a tv radio ad where it's like a 15 30 second thing or you can't you just got to have music then you have to purchase a license and i believe it was it was a standard license i'm like oh if i do because my thing is like what i'm trying to i'm like building it on facebook I'm, basically building out what they want to call it, your social media presence and uh because i've been doing it on facebook for years and youtube then i was kind of wanting to get a thing set up because basically i'm an artist that does i mean i do a lot of things but like my main focus is like oil landscape paintings and uh I like the live or the whole screen or the offline screens one of them and so for years I've been making like time lapse of the paintings and uh, put them up on YouTube. But like advertising through Facebook and now like Instagram too is like a pretty good way to like boost your like as a business. I mean personal too, but as a business to be able to like you know 
maybe you want to increase your followers maybe you want to take and direct them towards you know like I have like I sell through uh, Etsy shop because I just sold a painting what was it on the 15th of July I did that uh, so what I was getting at is like if I'm like creating ads to increase all these other things or like drive people to my shop I'm like I'd have to pay you know per song now it's kind of like looking at art list here. It's like a basically their thing is you can use it in anything, any vi video production. You can't use it in like audio podcast. Uh, pretty much any video production, excluding like violence or pornography or whatever, for like a two hundred dollar flat fee for a year, and you can download like up to forty tracks a day, which is they they call it unlimited, but it's forty a day, which you know whatever. Then you have it. Uh, You can go through mood or video theme or whatever. But on here, too, you can, like, let's go back to the music. On here, it has where you can go through, you know, what kind of feel do you want, you know. And I've been using this at least a year for, like, my YouTube videos. You have tempo. You, like, tempo, like, if you're doing, uh, I know if I'm doing, like, time-lapse of like a sunset and I usually want like a slower tempo but if I got like a time lapse of uh you know people moving through the city and stuff you probably want like a higher tempo just kind of trying to match your music to your scene it has like the different genre genres uh contemporary I like uh soundtrack's pretty cool you have like all these like this one's like a I think there's some longer ones that are like kind of slow basically there's a whole slew of like different music that you choose to but my issue was do I want to pay you know per song for a track then when I could pay like a $200 you know flat fee I'm like, oh, maybe I'll just get Artlist. There were other choices as well. Because I know, like, I watch, like, Peter McKinnon on uh, <clears throat> on YouTube. That he kind of works with uh, Epidemic Sound. But with them, they kind of go on... Uh, it says starting at 15, but it goes... It, it, it's on channel view, so it's like... 15 for like zero to 500,000 a month. And if you have 500,000 to 5 million, then it's 30. Then unlimited is 150. But looking into it as well, when you have other licensing, because my issue is for YouTube videos, it's fine. But like making ads, you know, like paying the fee, that's where I was getting, you know, uh, into questioning whether I should start paying or not. Like this is. I mean, that's that. For an advertising, which I was talking about, that's 300 so I'm like, that kind of knocks it out. Like, Artless is better. But, after that, I mean, there was Soundstripe too, which I've seen, but I don't know. I don't really know a ton about this one. I mean, there's... I think it, that guy looks familiar. I don't know that. I know who Matt Granger is. He does uh, photography stuff on YouTube. I believe he does, yeah, like wedding filmmaker and YouTuber. So I'm not really thinking about that one. Nah, that, so mine was like, do I keep it completely free? Then maybe pay per track or just pay like a one-time flat fee and use pretty much anything and everything they have. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll do Artlist. And, uh... When actually, when I was going back into it and looking at it, it's talking about you could use it. Um, where is it at? It's 
it's like 11 p.m. here, and I gotta get up at like three. My nose is itching. Uh, damn it, where's it at? Mm. Let's talk about credit in here. basically you have to put I mean it's pretty simple when you like download the track and stuff it like has this you just like copy and paste it because when I download a song I also open like a uh, little notepad thing and basically just copy that into the uh, notepad thing I just have that saved. Uh, I have like a folder with the Incompetech stuff in there. So I have like the music saved as the music name and the credits under a notepad saved under that as well. And, uh, but I put up, but I put up the, uh, the video last night. I think that's all we need on there. So basically, I put up the video last night on YouTube, and like while I'm like uploading stuff, from what I get when I like reread it, and what I gathered from is like, as long as you credit it, you're fine. So it sounds like even in an advertisement, like what I'm thinking about, I'm specifically thinking about advertising like uh photo you obviously don't need it really but like i want to like advertise more with like video because if you do video right 30 second 60 second ads like on instagram if you do it right you can like catch a person's attention really easily then i can like direct them to either subscribe to my instagram page which for the art is christopher pack art or even the facebook is chris pack art doing it with that and I didn't really want it like I have before like at the end of the actual video itself I put it in there but from my understanding is like I can put it just in the description and that should be fine so I'm trying to like when you do stuff as a because an issue I keep running into is like as an artist you want to do the best you can with what you have no matter what the costs are but when you're trying to be an artist in a business ex uh, business aspect you need to like figure out uh, the biggest bang for your buck like what's what do you need to spend and do not try to spend more than what's absolutely needed so I'm trying to like kind of get that uh, I'm constantly fighting with that like trying to buy the best stuff versus getting what you what you not what you want but what you need what you need to get whatever it is done and that's what I'm uh, fighting with but I think with the after I did it, I think I think I can use that then when you have the description for because I'm thinking right now because I've used ads in the pack ads in the past with uh, Facebook to build my Facebook page from like 200 to 800 at that time which it works beautifully because it's like very like digital I guess you can call it like digital marketing advertising. You can get like very targeted, very specific things where you can like, av I mean, you can like, you can do 18 to 35 year old males that live, you know, like in the United States. Or you can do, you know, 45 to 65 year old females that live in the UK. You can get like very specific, it, you can get very specific and like do targeted ads towards whatever. If you're going to like say, I want to target like construction company 
owners, I can go in and plug that in and do it. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's that's what I've been thinking. I'm tired. I need to. I was wanting to get this, sh just do a quick stream, because I'm wanting to do stream more here on a uh, Twitch. While also creating videos on a, uh, to continue to create videos on YouTube as well, then upload those onto Facebook. So yeah, because right now I'm trying to talk about like trying to use what I have or like the bottom line stuff. Like that's why I'm trying to like figure this stuff out too, and use like the camera equipment and the microphone and stuff that I have now. Because ideally, I would like to, I would like to get, I think the internet, I think I'm probably going to have to pay and upgrade the internet. That seems to be a definite thing I need to do. Which would be like, 50 bucks a month. But I think that, I think that, that'll be fine. But like, I want to buy a certain, because I'm using like a Canon 80D right now running out through USB using the like live remote shooting then doing like a web page view through open broadcaster software and it's I mean it seems like it seems to be working so I mean it's good then the Rode video micro hooked in through the Zoom H1, which I could just use the microphone itself, but running it through that kind of makes it uh, makes it a little bit better sounding. Then have that hooked into the into the computer, so. Oh my god. But yeah, I think this is a, ideally, I'm like in the middle of like organizing everything too. I'm trying to get my studio, I think I, I'm not thrilled, because it seems like this is going to be like a 480p image, maybe with the internet upgrade I should be able to do 720 or 1080, I don't know, that may be a lot to do with the camera too, because I think through the USB, 480 is what you're outputting. But if I got like, I was talking about wanting to get, if I if I want to stream, I'd like to get, because I know Panasonic GH4 and GH5 have the clean HDMI out, which would be good for use. Well, I have Canon stuff, so I'd like to get Maybe like a XC10 or XC15 or even get the uh, Canon C100 Mark II. I, granted, that'd be overkill for a webcam for sure, but that would produce like get it with like the Sigma 18 to 35 f1.8 lens. Because you can tell here, because I got it set up where I can do the autofocus. Which I need to figure out too. Or I think I know how to. Instead of like, say I'm filming here, this like, originally I'm thinking, oh, this may just be the art. But I think I can hook up the two cameras and do the, maybe it's where it's like, my face in the corner type thing where you can still see my face talking. Now I have like all this be like another camera because I have the ADD here and I also have the uh, Canon T2i. This is like my original DSLR that I've had. I bought it in 2012, I think. I think it was like uh, it was 800 bucks when I bought it, and it's still a great camera. It's just I bought the ADD because of the video capabilities of it compared to this like this has like a 12 minute limit that has 30 that has like the dual pixel autofocus for like any if anybody knows about vlogging like being able to like kind of move it like 
like what I was talking about, like it'll like it'll auto focus on its own, which is if you're like a single person, that'd be awesome. Single shooter. Oh my god. But uh like I was talking about like I'd have me down in the corner and then use that camera then through <laughs> through OBS here maybe have like the uh have like all this be the second camera uh aimed at the art itself like gamers have you know they have like the small corner that's their face then the rest of the screen's the game i'm trying to like the small corner is my face and the rest of the screen will be like where you can see maybe like my shoulder and like the art or my hands in the art so yeah i'm trying to get everything figured out i guess i can stream music during it too because my thing is, I'm trying to figure out if I just work in the studio and live stream it, if that's going to be good enough. Or maybe what I need to do is actually, like, be interactive and, like, interact with the audience and maybe get suggestions from people. And I can, like, someone's, hey, like, draw Jaron Bitten, give him a fucking middle finger, then, like, I can sketch it out. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure this out. So, yeah. All right. I mean, I got on here about music, but I was ranting about that, too. So. I think I want to... I told you, it's, it's late, and I'm tired, and I got to get up early. Then, also, I'm trying to figure out the best time to... Because right now, I work in the morning. So, I'd, like, stream during the day while I'm creating art. But I also realize that more people are probably watching streaming like afternoon, late afternoon and night. Some wonder if I had to stream then. I don't know. Then whether I need to have Tyson in the shot or not. But yeah. Then also, like, I got, I know there's like little, like people that like follow or subscribe or donate. And there's like little things that like pop. I'd, ha I'd have to figure all that out too. Like I have no clue about Twitch other than I've watched like Firefox a few times but it seemed like it's a pretty good I mean it is a live streaming platform while Facebook and YouTube offer live streaming this is you know live streaming so and then plus if I live stream it's I mean, although I'm going to edit later and put it on YouTube, you don't have to edit it if ever I went into just live streaming or people that just live stream. Or a lot of people that live stream then pay somebody else to edit their live streaming to put up on YouTube. Which would be nice. That'd be nice, but you got to have the money to pay them. And I don't right now. I don't know. i got to figure this out. I'm probably saying the same stuff over and over again, but uh, I think I will call it a night. But yeah, I would like to, by the end of the week or the weekend, when I get my studio reorganized and set up, have this in there and doing it. Because I was, I think with a GoPro too. Because I was trying to think of it like a cheaper alternative with like clean HDMI out. But if you do that, then you have to run it through a cash card to go into the computer. Which, that costs money too. And I'd have to buy a GoPro and all that stuff. And There's like a lot of stuff i got to figure out. But this is... Seems to be working. So. <clears throat> Alright. Cool. Later. I'm actually going to go now. Peace. Uh, what do you what do you do on Twitch? Follow, subscribe. What is it? I don't know. Do whatever you want to. If you want to check me out on YouTube, it's uh, Christopher Pack. Uh, on 
Facebook. My art page is Chris Pack Art. My Instagram for my art is Christopher Pack Art. So, yeah. All right. Cool. Later. See you guys. Girls.